Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This tutorial is going to cover the backstage view. I'm going to have to break it into uh, two or three videos though because it's too long as a, uh, one video, it's too long for it. So this is the first section and we'll have a little look at the backstage view. Now to enter the backstage view you just click on this little fella here and you click on the file tab. Now the backstage view is where you go to do things on the file but not necessarily in the file. So you'll give it a file name, save it, you know, save as, open and close and then you come to the info. Now this is the real part of the document. The info tells you what document you're looking in and where the location of the document is. Over here you get a little preview of what the document looks like and if you click that it will return you back to the document like so. Okay. Um, down here you've got the properties of the document, you've got the size, the pages, how many pages, how many words, out total time editing, um, you can add tags to make it easier to find, date it was created and things like that. Now down here you've got the author yeah if you look at the and show all properties you've got the manager so basically you might be doing a document for a manager and you'd want to put the manager's name here and you would want to remove your own name which I'll show you how to do uh, and you could add another author if there was two of you yeah last modified by whoever it was who modified it um, pretty pretty good yeah now over here you've got your permissions now you click on your permissions and you can mark as final let's imagine that you've got um, six people working on a particular document and I'm the coordinator of that document so I give um, you all certain things to do in the, within the document you all go and do it and you're all you know working away on your document and then I come in and I say right that is the final document okay I will mark it as final like so okay it will tell you by this little dialog box that this document will be marked as a final and then saved so we say okay it's just giving your ear again uh, this document has been marked as final to indicate editing is complete uh, and that is the final version. You'll see what I'm talking about in one second. We say OK to that. Notice this has turned red. Well, it's more orange, but it is red. And that little icon there is the marked as final icon. Now, I'll go into the document. Notice here, marked as final and there you can go. Now I'm going to say, oh down here it is, that's what I was looking for, marked as final. Yeah. Here you can say edit anyway and then that would obviously, you can carry on editing it. But it's the marked as final that I need to show you. I want to say mark as edit, you know, edit anyway. Now then, over here you come to the permissions and you've got here encrypt with password now what this is guys this is so you can put a password on your document and no one will be able to get into the document without a password now I'll just click on this to show you it will run you through it when you type into this encryption it's got you just type in the um, password it is case sensitive so be very very careful of what you type in and make sure you know what cap locks is. Now notice it's all in asterisks so if someone's over your shoulder they can't see what you're typing. Then you say OK to that. Confirm your password OK and it's as simple as that. Now you say OK and it hasn't actually put the password on as yet because I haven't saved the document but the second that I save this document I overwrite the original document with the password in it so now that is password protected now basically what we'll do I've just closed it so now we'll go to open it up and we'll see um, there you go and that's the password needed now if I don't 
get the password right for three goes. What happens is you have to close Word down and then have another three goes and it's that simple. Now if you, let's say you've had three attempts and then on the fourth one you think, oh I know where it is and then you got, you put it in, it's too late because you've already had your three count. So you've got every third time you must shut Word completely and then restart it and then it will load. But if you're organised with your passwords you shouldn't have a problem anyway. But do remember that it is case sensitive and you're not getting in it if you haven't got your password. Now to remove a password we'll just reverse the process. So literally the document is open. If <coughs> you leave a document open and it's passworded anyone can remove them. All they would do is they'd go to file, protection, encrypt and they'd just delete the password because it's already open. So you don't want to be leaving it open. Okay and then you literally hit the save yeah now when we do it so literally no password required yeah but it is good uh, lots of reasons why you'd want to pass uh, put a password on but what you'll find is in a lot of cases when you're putting passwords on uh, you have to give your manager a copy of all the passwords that you've got and the case that you typed them in with because that is a big issue as well right some companies don't allow you to put passwords on so ask before you do do it make sure that it's all okay then we come down to uh, restrict editing now restrict editing is you can control what editing people can do within a document now if we click on the restrict editing notice over here you can uh, limit formatting to a selection of text uh, or a style should I say so you can say well you're only doing this this and this you know so if I click on them just to show you I could limit the formatting to block text recommended yeah or body text 3 or whatever I want yeah um, pretty straightforward stuff um, if I'm protecting a document 95% of the times nobody's changing anything down here, editing restrictions allow only this type of editing on the document. So I could literally say you're only doing you're only doing track changes, comments, filling forms in, or no changes, read only. Yeah, but again, I can pick which one I want. It depends what I want to do on it, basically. Um, and then over here. I can say uh, start enforcement why is that dropping down here I can say select parts of the document and choose the users who are allowed to freely edit them so I could highlight a certain area and say well I'll let you know Brian Bill and Bob they can edit that area of the text or I can say everyone de depending what I want and then down here you would just go and say yes start enforcing I don't want to start enforcing because it is it's too much hassle getting it all off but it is literally as simple as that nothing difficult on there guys then we come up and we come up into the restrict permissions now if I say restrict it's unrestricted access at the moment guys but if I say restrict or manage credentials it has to load what you call the information rights management uh, and it's wanting to do it now look information rights management I don't want to load that onto this machine because there's too many issues uh, with it at the moment and I'm not happy to put it on my machine so I don't I don't want it on um, but again once you've loaded the information rights management then you c it's easy straightforward to follow it just allows you uh, to restrict access to the document good it's good but I'm just not happy loading it on this on this machine and then you've got add a digital signature now a digital signature is something that's invisible that your company buy and it's to make sure that the document is you know original and it's come from a, a proper source basically uh, but you have to buy the signatures if your company work with them they'd walk you through how to work with them and make sure that you know how to do but they are an invisible item yeah um, and that is your 
protect your document. Prepare for sharing. Now I want to do this a little bit for you. Inspect the document. Now when you click on inspecting the document it says here this file contains uh, changes that have not been saved. That's just a few things that I've just done but what it is saying to you is you need to save a copy because the data that's going to be removed in this document it, it's not replaceable. Some of it is you can't replace it back in once the documents took it out. Um, so you need to go file save as, do it on the copy and keep the original for yourself. But if you're sending a copy out to someone, you might want to remove certain data like personal information and stuff like that, authors names, managers names, you know, things like that. Now these are the things that you can check the document for. Uh, comments, revisions, yeah, versions and annotations. Now that's good because in a lot of documents you you know you put annotations in or you'll you know have different versions of it and things like that. So you do need um sometimes to remove them when you're sending the document out. On this occasion I don't want them so I remove the tick. Document properties and personal information. Yes I do want to check that. I don't want my personal information going out on this document, okay? Uh, custom XML data, you know, inspect for custom data, headers and footers, watermarks, yeah, it, again, it wouldn't really matter in this document, but I'll remove them. I don't want to check for them and I don't want to check for custom data. Invisible content, that's like your digital signature stuff like that, or I might have hidden text stuff like that, then we'll take that out, or hidden text is there as well, so I'll take that out. Sometimes in documents, guys, I put a paragraph of text between two paragraphs to prompt myself as the trainer so what I'm trying to say is that you know I might be doing a document and I'll put extra notes in that document for me and me only yeah it, don't forget to say this or don't forget to say that and then I'll hide that text now I wouldn't want that data going out in a in a document that I was sending out um, so hidden text yeah I would be checking for it in this document I won't be now, so all I'm looking for here basically is is document and properties and pers personal information. So I say inspect, it goes away and it finds the following. Yeah, document properties and author. I don't want to so say remove them all. Now the second that I've removed them all, okay, there you go, look, it says there. It's letting me re-inspect so I can have another go at it if I want and I can say I have another little inspect, yeah and no document information fine just to confirm that you're all okay with it we'll say close on that and then obviously you would save the document and then them changes was, would be overwrote yeah then we come down to check now this one check accessibility this one is you're checking the document for contents that people with disabilities might find difficult to read it's good if you're working with you know people with difficulties then it's all okay check compatibility this is terrific check for features that are not supported by earlier versions of word now really if you're working with a company or people that are using 2003 or even some things 2007 but it's more 2003 and previous versions to it you you might be using smart art for instance now 2003 does not support smart art so it wouldn't support it this checker will go and check for compatibility select the ver versions i want to look for compatibility between 97 2003 and 2007 and literally you turn them like that and then it'll give you a summary of what might be lost and what might not be lost uh, pretty much that simple on that one guys and then you just say okay now I'm not I'm just gonna leave it like that yeah um, and then you go in there and that is it for now guys what I'll do I'm gonna do a second video now this video will be called backstage um, tutorial one and the next one will be 1a so I'm gonna close this video now because I don't want it too long uh, I've just done that mistake um, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you found it informative. Go and check out my next video, which will be Backstage View Tutorial 2A, and you'll see it. Backstage View, 
two uh, ear it'll be um, and we'll have a little look and see what's what yeah but uh, thank you very much for your time don't forget to check me other videos out if you subscribe we do do requests uh, like I say on all my videos yeah uh, if you want to know how to do something or if you're having a problem at work or at home and you can't get something to work um, just drop us a line tell us about it and we'll do a little video and try and help you out thank you very much for your time bye